dear students today we are going to study an very interesting topic that is interjections it is one of the eight parts of speech the definition is an interjection is a word that expresses sudden and strong feeling or emotion i will explain you this definition through some examples the first example is hurrah we have won the match we have won the match we have won the match this sentence is stating a matter of fact is just telling something we have won the match but if we add hurra just before this sentence and speak like this hurra we have won the match then what happens when we add this word hurra then we feel sudden excitement the word hurra expresses excitement and thus this sudden excitement the word which shows sudden excitement is interjection the word of interjection is usually placed just before the sentence for example the sentence is we have won the match and before this sentence we have written hurra moreover and the word interjection is followed by an exclamatory sign dear students this is exclamatory sign this is exclamatory sign so in all the examples you can see that interjection is followed by an exclamatory sign a straight line and just below the straight line there is a dot so in the first example hurra we have won the match the word hurra expresses sudden excitement or sudden joy the second example is hey how are you doing so the sentence is how are you doing here hey is the interjection it is a way of greeting which has lot of emotions involved it is placed at the beginning of the sentence and followed by an exclamation mark you can see the exclamation mark just after hey hey is written in the starting of the complete sentence just before how are you doing hey how are you doing so one more thing first of all the interjections show the sudden and strong feelings number 2 interjections are written just before the sentence just before the matter of fact number 3 interjections are followed by exclamatory mark exclamation sign and number 3 interjection has no grammatical relation with other part of the sentence it means in example number 2 if i remove hey if i put off the word hey out of the sentence and the remaining sentence how are you doing it is complete and correct if i remove hey and the exclamatory sign the remaining part of the sentence how are you doing is itself complete as well as correct 
so we can say that interjection has no grammatical relationship with rest of the sentence so these are the three rules number 1 mostly interjections are the first word of the complete sentence number 2 interjection is followed by an exclamatory sign and number 3 interjections have no relation with rest of the sentence if we remove the interjection the remaining part of the sentence is correct and complete without the word of interjection we see that the third example is alas i have lost my way so here alas expresses sadness and grief sadness and grief alas is written just before the sentence i have lost my way this word alas expresses that the a child or a person is in grief is helpless or is sad for losing the way alas is interjection it is written in starting of the sentence you can see one exclamatory sign and if we remove alas the complete sentence i have lost my way the sentence 